Okay, did the visual models help us understand what was going on when we subtracted from the whole? My name's Steve O'Connor. I'm the fifth grade teacher at Wells Central School. Wells is a very small community in the Adirondacks. It's one of the advantages of working here. I, I know my children. I, I know them well. Who can give me the next step? Matthew. When New York State put the modules out, I felt as though this was the kind of math that I was looking for. Uh, it includes a lot of visual modeling, which helps the kids truly understand what's going on. Instead of learning a set of tricks or algorithms, it also shows how these various things are related because we see these models over and over again as we add, subtract, as we use decimals, as we use fractions. Today we're going to do Module 3, Lesson 6. We're going to be working subtracting fractions from numbers. From the get-go, I wanted to make them my own and have a natural delivery of it. Uh, so that in itself is a bit of a modification adapted for my classroom and my students and, and my teaching style. Follow along on your dry erase boards. Stanley, go. You can write one plus one fourth minus. It's, it's about responding to the learner. It, it's about a continuous dialogue between the learner and the teacher. When you go home tonight and do your homework, if you have any problems, you can always go to Homework Help 5. You know where that is. I have two sites. One is homeworkhelp5.com. Uh, that's one where uh, the main intent was to help students and parents with homework. This screencast covers the material of Module 3, Lesson 6, but a very powerful way to do subtraction with mixed numbers and unlike denominators with regrouping. I, I see uh, parents and students from California, New Jersey, Michigan, uh, throughout the country. Louisiana is another place. My, most of my hits are New York and California. My other site is CCSS5. I set that up to foster some collaboration among teachers, practitioners, uh, instructional leaders, and coaches. I've long been a big fan of uh, open educational resources. So I've always been uh, big on sharing my materials with others. The Creative Commons licensing of these modules has allowed me to make these multimedia and freely share them with others. And teachers all over the country are downloading these and they're using them in their classrooms. And five plus four, anyone know? Nine ten. My parents know about Mr. O'Connor's website so they can help them understand what we're doing in class. He doesn't give you the answers, but what he does is he'll help you, like, he'll give an example. One third by partitioning the second rectangle into three equal parts. We'll now bracket one and one third. This has made, you know, major changes in my practice. Uh, I, I run the lesson a very different way than I had in the past, but I like, the, I, I'm learning too, and I'm enjoying that, and I've enjoyed after all these years, 25 years of teaching, doing something different, continuing to grow myself. Um, I hadn't been so good at math, and then Mr. O'Connor has taught me a lot. I'm really good at math now. I didn't have much confidence at the beginning of the year. I wasn't as strong, but now I gain more confidence, mm -hmm. and math is going well for me now. It's really great to see a kid move from struggling with something to all of a sudden becoming confident and fluent. Plus and when the kids four. exit the year saying, two. I'm good at math, that, that's, that's, that's really the big reward.